Welcome to It's a Crime, I'm Linda and today we're going to be talking about a case that's incredibly heartbreaking and I'm going to make it a part of April's Spotlight of the Month. April is National Child Abuse Month so I thought it was only fitting that I bring up little Keaton Boggs. Keaton was originally from Pennsylvania, but he was living in West Virginia for the past nine months. Keaton recently passed away on March 20th from extreme abuse from his family members. He was only five years old and he just celebrated his fifth birthday back in January. How this got to this point and allowed to go on is completely beyond me. But before I get into this story, if you are new to It's a Crime and you'd like to be part of it, please click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Click that like button and click that share button. With that being said, let's get into it. Keaton's full name is Keaton Michael Elliott Boggs. He was born on January 15th, 2015 and just celebrated his fifth birthday. I will start by saying that Keaton's last year of life was especially hard and brutal from what we now know. For the last nine months, Keaton was living with his grandmother, Michelle Boggs, his aunt, Chastity Wodzinski, and his uncle, PJ Wodzinski, but his real name is actually Peter James. He was also living with their three children at this home at 9248 Buckhannon Pike in Lost Creek, West Virginia. It's a three bedroom, one bathroom home. And to my understanding, they were living there in the last couple of months. So you're probably wondering why he's living with his aunt, his uncle and his grandma, right? Where is his mom and dad? His dad, Christopher Boggs, who lived in Pennsylvania, died on June 16th, 2019 to a drug overdose. Keaton was living with Chris at the time. Chris was a United States Army veteran and served one tour in Afghanistan. He was honorably discharged after he was injured during active duty. At the time of his death, he was a firefighter and also worked for a landscaping and construction company. Chris also suffered from PTSD. After Chris died, temporary custody was granted to Michelle, Chastity, and Peter. Now, one thing to note, Michelle is actually Christopher's mom Chastity is Chris's sister, and Peter is his brother-in-law. And you're going to soon find out just how horrible these family members are. As for Keaton's mom, Jessica Bishop Holt, she had her own struggles with drugs, so she wasn't able to have custody of Keaton. And at the time when Chris died, they were no longer together. However, Jessica was actually clean for over a year and she was looking forward to being reunited with Keaton, but Michelle actually refused for Jessica to see him. And according to one of the news sources, it says, Jessica was waiting for her probationary period to end before seeking permanent custody of Keaton. According to her mother, Patty Holt, Jessica has been clean for 14 months, which is a huge feat in and of itself. She was trying to overcome her illness and better herself so she could be the mother Keaton deserved. Jessica only allowed her son to be cared for by his father's side of the family because she thought they would give him a stable, caring home. Now here is a picture of Keaton at his fifth birthday party. Look at his face. Look at the bruises on this little boy's face. This was actually posted on Chastity's Facebook page. When people asked her how he got bruises all over her face, this is the ridiculous answer she gave to people. The dog knocked him down the steps the other day. He was coming down and the dog come down behind him and took, wiped him out. And yet nothing was done. A few days before Keaton died, he was actually taken to the hospital by Michelle, Peter and Chastity and Keaton was unresponsive and not breathing. They didn't call 911. They took him in themselves. But why did they take him in themselves? because Keaton was unconscious, not breathing, and had a severe head injury and more. His head trauma was so severe that he had bleeding on the brain and irreversible brain damage. He also had old injuries as well. And these three family members explained to medical personnel that Keaton's injuries were accidental 
and the staff alerted the authorities right away because of the nature of Keaton's injuries and the stories that these three were coming up with. And they just didn't add up. And according to news sources, Keaton had to be intubated and resuscitated immediately and was quickly airlifted to another hospital. Once there, doctors quickly realized that the boy had a catastrophic brain injury that would have left him with brain damage even if he had survived the abuse. And this isn't all. Oh no, if that's not enough. Keaton also had a laceration to his private parts. Why? Because his wicked grandmother told him that if he doesn't stop touching there, that she's going to cut it off. And so she made a real solid attempt because little Keaton had a one and a half inch laceration. Two days later, on March 20th, Keaton died from those injuries. And police believe that Michelle, Chastity, and Peter maliciously inflicted substantial physical pain, illness, or impairment of physical condition by other than accidental means, thereby causing the death of Keaton. So Michelle Boggs, who is 48, Chastity Woodzinski, 29, and PJ Woodzinski, 32, were charged that same day with murder of child by custodian, murder of a child by a parent, guardian, or custodian. All three are being held without bond at the North Central Regional Jail in West Virginia. And a family member said that they are surprised that Chastity and PJ are involved in this as they said that they are really great parents to their three children, or so it looked. That same family member said that they are not at all surprised that Michelle was involved. And they described her as, Michelle is a habitual liar, always has been. Michelle is an attention seeker and will do anything for attention. She has lied about her own medical issues to get attention. And I did read that she is concerned currently in jail about COVID-19 and her breathing. I think that's the least of your worries. And in Keaton's obituary, it says he loved fire trucks. And in his passing, he gave the gift of life to multiple people through organ donation. This is completely heartbreaking. I don't understand how this all could have gone on without anybody saying something. I know things happen behind closed doors, but she blatantly posted these pictures of Keaton at his birthday. And none of the other children looked abused, not to say that they're not, we don't know, but Keaton is obviously beaten. His eyes look like he had a mask on and people brought it up. And then she blatantly says, of course, of course they're gonna lie, that the dog did that to him. But that would have been back in January if that's when the birthday party happened because his birthday is in January. So why didn't anybody call in in February or March about this? And from my understanding, he was there since June, since Chris died. And I'm betting it didn't just start. So if this had been continuing on for nine months, and I was thinking to myself, he is five years old. I wonder if he's in kindergarten, but he would have just turned five. So he probably wasn't in kindergarten. Otherwise you would think or hope that the teachers would see this and do something about it. But this is a prime example how this went unnoticed or maybe not unnoticed, but no one did anything because they didn't want to be involved or whatever it was. So I thought this was important to make this as a spotlight since I found out that April is National Child Abuse Month and I thought this should bring attention to the whole world because right now as well with this virus that is going on that there are more and more children being abused and at higher degrees because of all this as well. So let's have a chit chat below. We can talk about it. Maybe you have some extra information and I'd be happy to hear it in the comments below. Give a like to this video for little Keaton. Share this out where you can 
and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon.